okay? Simple shot, okay? And turn your body more, okay? More, spread your, okay, better. Uh -huh. Longer bridge, longer bridge. Here, oh yes. You see how Kubo is reacting right now? Yeah. You're hitting softer and you're getting reaction to the Kubo. Again. So, a little bit wider, okay, and longer bridge, full back swing. Too short. Look, if you're gonna hold your cue here, look, look, don't do anything. Go back to the shot. Go back to the shot. I will explain in detail what's happening, okay? So you could understand. And stand up here, okay, good. So if I, if you finish your shot here, yeah, you had about three centimeters follow through, okay? It's bad. Stand up again. So you need at least, yeah, stand like this and then finish to the chest and then you have follow through. You see? Yeah. So you need to have more room here, okay? okay. Because otherwise you will play across the ball like you did a couple of times before. Okay, you start from here. Full backswing and delivery. You see? No side spin. And actual sound of the cubo was b way better. Do you feel the difference? Yes. Okay, again. Okay, you see room here? Okay, good. Full backswing, delivery. You see? No side spin. Before you, sorry for the words, but you had shed cue action, okay? You just, uh, you cannot deliver cue properly, you know? And right now, if you have more room to your chest and you have a longer, you know, let's say bridge, you know, then you can achieve an uh, outcome faster. Okay. Full backs and delivery. This cell, finish the shot normally like you did before. Okay, a few more shots, and I will go with your father. Stop shot, normal shot, like full backswing. Well done. Okay, with you. Anyway. Remember what we talked about grip here? Yeah. Okay. So let's start with the simple shot, uh, let's say, to the middle here, okay? Try to stop the shot, stop, stop shot, okay? Okay, grip looks pretty nice. Stop the shot. Okay. Because you are, ten you are tending to play that shot too hard, okay? So you need to, understand how Kubo reacts. That's, that stop. No. So that's the problem, you know? Mm -hmm. You're hitting the ball always too hard. Why? Because, first of all, you're hitting with too much power, so you need to be relaxed more. It's a very good, simple exercise. That's it. So when you come into the practice, you need to play simple shots, okay? and just learn how to stop from the different distances. Yeah. Don't think about cue action, about stroke, yeah? Think about how to stop the cue ball. So we are improving your knowledge and technique at once, okay? So this is distance, so you got to know how to stop properly. This is a bad shot because cue ball move backwards. So it shows me that you don't have ability to control cubo properly because even on small, uh, uh, small distances, short distances shots, you do mistakes yet. So what you got to do is aim a tiny bit higher, okay, and deliver with the same speed. 
And this is a great shot. You stop the ball. So if you feel frustrated about your game and you want to just basically improve certain things, just do simple things, okay? Nothing too complicated. Stop the ball. Okay, it's not a good shot because he will move forward. So you got to learn how to stop Kubo properly without moving. Horrible. Let me check the video. Not good. Do you understand what I mean? Okay, so once you get good with this distance, that. you increase distance here. Yeah, okay. So it's not about pot, it's about what Kubo does. So longer distance requires a little bit lower on the Kubo and remain the same soft stroke, you know. Pretty good, but not great. It didn't stop. So you got to feel what kind of power, speed, you need to use for each shot. So, during impact pot, you dropped your elbow and then Kubo move forward. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem. You got to focus on finishing to the same point where you're aiming. Okay, so let me give you an example, okay? So, you played low on the Kubo here, okay? but you deliver higher. So if you're aiming just below cubo center here, you got to finish below cubo center, okay? okay? Otherwise, during matches, you will do many mistakes. No question. Amazing, perfect. When you will practice alone, just focus on to do three times in a row that shot. And the last level is this. Stop here. Bad shot. Too hard. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Perfect. And the most difficult one, here. Just make that stop shot. No, too much. Horrible. <laughs> Again, low, low, high. Perfect. So this is what you got to do to improve your stroke and understanding about cue ball. Mm -hmm. So like when you get better, just increase distance. And remember, if you don't want to use power, just aim lower, but hit softer, okay? So if I aim low here, okay? So hit soft. Just try to put this ball. It's all about to stop the cue ball. If you're not gonna <laughs> cue straight, doesn't matter. For me, what, the most important thing, what cue ball does, where you actually hit what, card, uh, what kind of height you hit, you, you, you hit the ball. Horrible. You see? Yes, yes. Softer. Softer. Softer always better. Too hard. Softer. Three times softer than you think, okay? Less power, less power. Too much. Less power, three times. Yeah, I know that it's not easy because you need to get reference experience to, to do these shots consistently. Softer, okay? Softer, more, soft. 
like you're touching your wife. <laughs> soft, soft, okay? That's it. Even you use a side spin, but you stop properly right now. So it was a good shot. Again, softer. It's all about what, what Kubo does, you know? I don't really care about potting right now. I just care about Kubo control. Good, good. Again. Soft. That's it, you're getting. Again, increase distance, okay? And stop the ball. Too hard, softer. Softer, softer, okay? Well done, come here. So listen, when you play from the side where you need to lean to the shot, you need to put your left foot a little bit further, okay? What I mean is like you stand a little bit too square like that, okay? So if you want to play that shot properly, if you want to have room here, you need to open your right leg a little bit more to the side, okay? And put your left leg further to make your stance a little bit more dynamic, okay? Yeah. So stand up here, okay? So when I approach that shot, particular shot, yeah, I just have to make sure that my right foot is a little bit more open so I could have more room here. Because if you, I stand square, I'm also a big guy, so this is why I need to be a little bit more open. So I hit my ch chest too early, okay? So I got to be a little bit more open, okay? Right foot on the line, as always. And put your left hip, left leg closer to the table, okay? Because otherwise, you know, then you're just not gonna feel balanced. But this way, you see, I have a nice level between my cushion and Q, okay? So that is not like that. Yeah. And second, I have room from my right arm to chest here. Yes. It's really important if you want to have a proper stroke. And when I deliver the Q, I don't have to drop my elbow to create a follow through. I just can simply finish to my chest, okay? You see how much room I have here? So this is what you got to do if you want to play those shots properly, you know? So no, you just put the cubo a little bit further so you could actually make a normal shot. Horrible balance. Left leg further. Bad. Remember what I told you? Step away from the table and put left leg further like that so you could lean to the, to the left leg, okay? No, no, no. Right arm slightly back. Look, you're approaching like from kilometers away. You're approaching like uh, a basketball player. Stand up two distance apart like this. Yeah. And you're standing like this, you know? So don't stand like that, sure, closer, and don't too far away. Put Q, put Q, and approach from here. That's it, perfect. Okay, much better, play the shot. You see? You have room, you have bridge length, and you have follow through. Okay, again, feel comfortable, good? Yes. Play the shot, stop shot. What kind of difference you feel using new technique right now? I feel that my chest is way yeah. far away from my elbow. Okay. And I can uh, properly put the shot and yeah. if I use this. You see? Yes. So address position, your upper part of your body is really important. Of course, everything stands, uh, starts from your stance, okay? Yes. But if you want to play those shots from the side, diagonal, okay? Yeah. 
So you need to be more open with your stance, okay? You cannot be like that because you're a big guy. You're a tall man, okay? You're not the skinniest guy in the world, so you cannot be square to the shot. You need to actually open yourself, okay? If you want to make your right arm, your head position, your elbow on the one line. So again, of course, from the right side, it's much easier because from, as a right-hand player, <laughs> cushion is not on my way, but here, cushion is on the way, so you actually have to lean to the shot, you know? So, that's really important, you know? Okay, let me see how the camera looks like. Yeah, it's good. So, you don't hit anymore across the ball, okay? So, let's try a long shot like we started to play and just play a simple stop shot. So I, I will put camera so audience could clearly see your cue action. Okay, approach the shot. Okay, this is your cue action, looks pretty good. This is bridge. Okay. As you can hear, he potted the ball, so he had enough room to his chest, his stance was a little bit wider, so he was more comfortable. Okay, good. Stop shot. Play with more confidence, okay? A little bit more speed. So you will clearly see his aiming pattern, his cue action. Okay, elbow slightly straighter. He's never gonna be straight totally because this is his body, but slightly straighter will be nice. Back swing, okay. Okay, you didn't feel comfortable on the shot. You felt, you know, you've been a little bit too square. Open up, okay, and twist your hips more to the side so you could have more room, okay? Okay. I will show his um, hip position after that shot, okay? So. Okay, full back swing and delivery. No side spin, very good speed, amazing stroke. Let's go back to address position part from here. Okay, pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Nice one, play again. You're getting slightly better compared to the first shots you played, you know? Once more, and we will finish the session, like, first part of the session. Okay, again. Okay. Stance. Okay. Elbow. Deliver. Okay, not a perfect stroke, so but good enough to feedback? pot. Tell me. Leg. Yeah. And chest and, uh, a okay. So guys, so what I'm doing right now, I do observation. Student, by his own words, has to understand actually what he does. Because actually what he does. Because my job as a coach is only to guide, okay? But your job is to understand what you do. If you can feel and understand what you do, you get results. So that's it about the session. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, I will try to make more videos like this. So stay tuned. And in the, in the first part of the session, it was a little bit struggle, which is normal when you try to learn new things. But when you actually apply something, you can achieve very good results. So that's it from my side. Thank you for watching. And until next video. Okay, guys, take care.